What's up guys, it's Alex Travel Bum, and for the next few videos I'm going to go over some questions that I've gotten from you guys. So I'm going to answer this one first, it's what are some of the best places that you've discovered during your travels? So the first thing that comes to mind is Mount Bromo and it's a volcano in East Java, Indonesia and there are no railings, there aren't people patrolling the place all the time, so you can go up there by yourself and basically hike around this volcano. And it's one of the best things that I did in all of Southeast Asia. This cave bar in Mostar. Mostar is in Bosnia and Herzegovina in Eastern Europe. And so Mostar is already a really cool place. But then one day when I was there, I met a few friends and I went to this bar in a cave. And to me, this was just kind of a one-of-a-kind experience, having drinks at a bar in a cave. It was very cool. And to top it all off, after we were there for a little bit, the power went out. We didn't have any light, so we just kept drinking and talking there in the dark for a little while, and after maybe 10 minutes, they brought candles, and they set candles up all over this cave. And so we ended up spending our night in a cave, having drinks in the candlelight and that was just an amazing experience, an amazing place for me. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the US when I was on my van life trip, and I went through Nevada. One of my favorite places was Spencer Hot Springs. So my girlfriend and I, we drove out into the center of Nevada, and it was there where we found these hot springs in the middle of the desert. And because it was winter, it was snowing, it was cold, it was freezing, and Nobody even wanted to go outside, but we had these hot springs, and so we were in the middle of the snowy desert, and we had these hot springs all to ourselves. The next one is Poem Mountain in Vietnam. This was in Ha Long Bay, and this is where I got the best view of my life. So I made a video where I give you instructions on how to get there, but if you go to Vietnam, if you go to Ha Long Bay, you should try to go there. Actually, I just got news that they closed it down or at least there are some gates there right now and they're trying not to let tourists go up there because somebody set something on fire or something like that. So, uh, Gili Trawangan, this is an island off of Indonesia near Bali. And there's a ton of scuba diving and snorkeling and this is where I got to snorkel and scuba dive with turtles and all kinds of fish and coral reefs and everything. Indonesia is one of the best places to scuba dive in the world. Ferry Stream Moine. Moine is also in Vietnam, and Ferry Stream is just this little stream that you can walk along. I believe it's probably about a mile long, maybe a couple miles long, and you can walk the whole thing. Yeah, your feet barely get wet. On one side of the stream, you'll have desert, you'll have orange clay and orange rock, and then on the other side, you'll have the dense green jungle that Vietnam is kind of known for. It's just something I've never experienced before. Hamilton Pool. So this is in Texas, near Austin. And I don't remember how long it took to get there, but it's maybe 30 minutes outside of Austin or something like that. And would you even think that Texas would have something like this? This was just a paradise in the middle of Texas. So half of it is still kind of enveloped in this cave, and then there's kind of a little beach there, and it's just an incredible place to see. Pai, Thailand. Maybe I can add this one because it is a smaller place and it's lesser known. Not a lot of people go to Pai uh, compared to all the other places in Thailand. This is a little town. It's kind of a hippie, artsy place and I just really had a great time here and it's really laid back. There's a lot going on every night and so you should check it out if you go to Thailand. The next one that comes to mind is Var, Croatia. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it but I call it Var and it's this little island off the coast close to Split and it was just some of the best times that I had ever uh, in my travels in Europe. It was one of those places that's really great for partying and meeting people and the city of Split and everything around there is just amazing. When you get to Split, you're going to take a little boat and go over to Var and from there you can go to all of these other little islands because Croatia is just littered with all of these islands. 
perfect water, partying if you're into that, and I was at the time. And yeah, you should check it out if you go there. All right, so those are some of the best places that I've discovered in my travels. I think I'm gonna make a part two. Let me know if you liked this, if it was interesting at all, then I'll make a part two because those just came off the top of my head and I actually have another 10 or 20 more to go over that are equally as, as interesting. And also, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out, helps more people to see this. Subscribe if you haven't already and you're new here, and I'll see you in the next video.